this is a board of heat excuse me board of health meeting for july 7th it is now 402 p.m the meeting is called order the, the first business is we need to reorganize yes All right. Um, with that, I guess I'll make a motion for Dennis O'Connell to be chairman following this meeting. This is Kevin. Okay. Uh, thank you, Kevin. I'll second that nomination. Okay. And roll call vote. Kevin? Yes. Dennis? Yes. And Arlene, yes. Now we need a nomination for vice chair. I'll make a nomination for Kevin Perkins for vice, please. Okay. I'll second that. Okay, roll call vote. Kevin? Yes. Dennis? Yes. And I only know. Okay. Dennis, let's uh, turn the meeting over to you. Thank you. Um, so did, now we're dealing with the well permits. Do we deal with them in, uh, individually? Uh, That's up to you guys. You can do them all if, if everybody's reviewed them. There's three. Joanne Drive, School Street, and Elm Place. It's up to you. You guys could do them all at once or individually. Uh, we didn't have any issues with them. I didn't see. Did Did anyone else have any issues with them? I'm uh, nope. I'm looking at. No, I I didn't see any issues with them. No. And conservation has signed off on all three. I'll entertain a motion to accept the the applications for the three well permits. Yep, I'll make, I'm just looking at the addresses here. Yep, I'll make a motion to approve the applications for the well permits for the following addresses, 130 Joanne Drive, 12 School Street, and 18 Elm Place. And I'll second that. And we'll roll call um, Kevin. Yes. Arlene. Yes. And yes, for myself. Uh, next on the agenda is the public health nurse. Did you guys get a chance to look at the um, job description that I emailed you? I, it was, in, it was in, in the in packet the, that I emailed everybody. The the same email as the agenda. Correct. Yeah, it's one of the. I'm pulling it up now. Let me see if I can. Uh, Give me a second. The the. Um, Job description we got from um, Whitman. Okay, I got it. So changes can be made if you guys want to make changes. Once they've had a chance to look at it, I think there's a lot of stuff we can delete that we don't need. Um, yeah, I'm sure that probably is because a lot of it doesn't apply to us. Oh, my God. I have never seen five pages on a nurse's job description ever in 30 years, ever. <laughs> this is because they had a public health nurse in the past who probably yeah, the only, did a lot of the jobs. The but, only thing I really changed on it was the amount of hours down the bottom. And was it either or, was it either five to 10 or 10? I couldn't figure that out. In between five and 10, depending on, if we get any more money, okay. um, like All grant right. wise, because we have the money that we yes. set aside for the VNA that will be in the budget once they approve the budget, that is, if the budget is approved um, at town meeting. Um, and does that cover all the cost of the, the cost that we've had in the past couple of months? Or that's that all, go to in fiscal, that's in fiscal 20, so that's all taken care of. Okay. All right. Yeah. This. There's a lot of stuff that could be left out of it, a lot. 
I circled and um, crossed out like whole sections. Now uh, on this, I'm I'm assuming this is just like for a, for a posting, right? Not actually like a bound like this contract. Is a job description. Right. This is the job description, not just for right. Yeah, for a job posting for a job posting. Now. Yes, right, right. No. Right. This is yeah no the posting would be I think a lot shorter. This would be the actual job description. Mm -hmm. I like and the I like the physical skills. Where's that? Down the bottom. The the work principally involves sitting. <laughs> oh, you know some of that I thought could be like. <laughs> Yeah, we, I, the last, we make that sound better for sure. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, there's, there's a couple of things. But like the on the last page, the motor skills and visual skills, that does not need to be there. If they can't see and they can't move, it's a little difficult. <laughs> that really is not, you know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there's a couple things that could be put in other areas like under qualifications the fact that you have to be able to do um shots and stuff like that it could be condensed um i couldn't figure out why we were talking about vendor invoices billing statements and billing for vaccines we don't have vaccines and i don't know in this century if we're going to have money to buy vaccines oh. hang on one second so i don't know why in a data system that's like are we hiring a nurse or Attempt. Um, so what do you guys want me to take out? And I'll just edit it right now. Does anybody think if they've had a chance to read the motor skills and visual skills? Yeah, those. What's that under, Arlene? Oh, I see the whole thing. You want the, the whole paragraph out? Page. The whole motor skills and visual skills needs to come out. Okay, so you physical, have motor, and that. skills. Delete the whole, del delete those three paragraphs. I wouldn't say the whole. I, the first one that says you have to be able to pick up stuff under 30 pounds, I think that's okay. Yeah, I agree. Um, that should stay. Make, yeah. And I make the sitting part stay. sound a little better. <laughs> no, with that, we can take that out of the other paragraph that it's in. Because some of this stuff is all over the place. But that just telling people that they might have to stoop, walk, stand, pick up stuff, that should stay. But the motor skills and visual skills is absolutely not needed. All right, so I'll take motor skills and visual skills, I'll leave physical skills. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now the page before that on confidentiality, that's already covered in terms of HIPAA and another path. That's on the second page under uh, confidentiality. Comments. Hang on. It's actually third page. Third page. And not numbered. So the, the top of it says nature and purpose of contact. Hold on. Nature and purpose of nature. contact. Okay, so if we want to start with that paragraph, I think that first sentence can come out and the rest is okay the person is the public health nurse they should you guys read it but they should know that's going to be talking to the public i mean it, it's not really hurting anything having excess material in here is it i mean i i agree with you we should shorten it up a little bit if it's unnecessary stuff oh, yeah. but it's no, to be over descriptive rest, it's yeah. not really hurting anything is it no, but the rest of the sent the rest of the paragraph is the meat of what you want in there. The employee serves the spokesperson or recognized authority of the organization. The rest is just saying you might talk to this group or that group or another group. And I think that's implied as part of being a public health nurse. You're gonna be talking to a lot of different people. Um and it, it eventually we might shorten it by a page if you take all of the stuff that you really don't need out. The person wouldn't be the I really for the Board of Health, though. In matters of substance or considerable importance, including me, no, no. 
I don't even know if you need that at all. Whole paragraph. Um, Kevin, not gonna be a what do you think? Should we want to delete the whole paragraph? Uh, no. I, I, I just hate to see us delete something that maybe should have stayed by accident. Um, I, I don't think it's hurting anything to have extra information in there, is it? That's up to you guys. But are you telling somebody that this is their job and then you're going to tell them, no, you really can't do that, even though it's part of their but job? What if well, you don't want them to be the spokesperson for the Board of Health. No, you don't. Well, Fine. right, 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 right. No, I understand that. Um, I can take out just that sentence. Yes. Relationships are constantly with coworkers, the public groups, individuals, yada, 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 may be required to discuss controversial matters where tax is required to avoid friction. So I'll just take right. out the other section about the um, spokesperson. Being the spokesperson. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything else? That sounds good. No, confidentiality is the next one. That is covered in another section with HIPAA. That, that no. is in what? But it's, are you reading it right? It says the incumbent has regular access at the department at level to overwrite it. Not his, not his information. <laughs> No, 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 no. I, I, it, first of all, the word incumbent, I've never seen that in a nursing job description. It should say nurse has regular access to the department level to a variety of confidential information. But on the yeah. very first page, it um, talks about HIPAA. And, 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 and that whole thing, the confidentiality, is covered by HIPAA. So okay. there isn't really a need to, to say it twice. On the first page, it um, says maintains a variety of files, documents, data systems, which I don't know what that means. Prepares, maintains, and updates client records. And that's where I question vendor invoices, billing statements. Uh, but it says remains compliant with HIPAA state laws and regulations. That one, I think, I don't know what the nurse did there, but I don't imagine that anyone else is going to put in warrants other than you, Teresa. Correct. Not they are not allowed. To, that would not be permitted. No. no, no. So, so I think the confidentiality section comes up because it's covered in that other. But some of that stuff, the billing, the vendor, and the billing stuff needs to come out of that because I can't imagine anybody doing that other than Teresa. So we'll take that out. Um, right. Under essential function? Yeah. Okay, I'll take out vendor invoices, billing statements, including billing for vaccines. I don't do billing, so. Yeah. Um, vendor invoices. But we don't have any vaccines. Right, right, but we may at some point. But we um, wouldn't be buying it if we get it. Maintains variety of it files. It would be documents. provided. Appears, maintains, and updates client billing statements, including billing for vaccines. Supplies reports remains compliant with HIPAA state laws. I just took out the invoices section. The other stuff, it might not be applicable right now, but it might be down the road. I don't know. You took out the vendor in the billing? Um, the right. billing. I took out the invoices. In billing statements or no, just invoices? Just invoices. Because this is things that may have to be done, not necessarily will have to be done. Okay. I just, I don't see a fine vaccine, so go right ahead. And what about the confidentiality? Does that need to be a repeat of what was in this section. Um, in my opinion, it doesn't hurt to have it in there. It's just kind of I was, say, I was gonna say, you might just wanna add like, 
referenced above to it or something like that? Um, hang on. I got my new laptop today, so I'm just kind of trying to fiddle with something. Oh, like okay. Um, do you want to leave just confidentiality in there as it is? Or do you want to take the whole thing out? I mean, it's not going to hurt that it's there. No, like I said, maybe it would just say, you know, as referenced above, like variety of confident, confidential information as referenced above. And, right. you know, sure. you could even say as referenced above in essential functions. Um, confidential you know information what you must abide by state law and HIPAA rules. I, I, the confidentiality, I think the word incumbent should come out and it should be nurse. Yeah. And then the only thing I would have added there is and should follow HIPAA guidelines at all times. That's all. That's all. And then that, that's, it's there twice, but yeah. Yeah, and just I leave it. I don't know what an incumbent is. Well, because it's well, uh, all right. So, you want that nurse? Yes, yeah, because that's what we're hiring. That's it, it's a nurse. Incumbent suggests they already have the job. It well, it, it sounds like somebody's been elected if they're the incumbent. Oh, they already have the job, right? But they, this is, yeah, I would think. Um, the whole second page, I don't know. How much of that is needed? Under super, supervision received or supervision exercise, unless we're planning on hiring people and this person is then going to train them. Absolutely. I'm sorry, Arlene, where was that? On the second, second page, it starts out with. Supervision received and supervision exercise. Okay, hold on. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know that that needs to be in there at all, either one of those. No, and accountability, to me, I don't know if it's worded that it's weird, but it's a weird thing to have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would leave if. I, you could take out supervision received and supervision exercise. Under accountability, I would definitely leave in consequences of errors, missed deadlines, blah, 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 blah. But, but it doesn't say anything about read it. It doesn't say there are any consequences. It just says, it, it doesn't say what the consequences are. It just, it just doesn't, it doesn't make sense. Is what I think it makes sense. I think it will be, go ahead. I think it makes sense. Consequences of errors, missed deadlines, or poor judgment could impact the well-being of individuals, excessive costs, delays of service delivery, or legal repercussions. Those are the consequences of your errors. Right. What do you? Yeah, guys I don't. Th I don't. Th I don't think we should take out accountability. Yeah, I agree with Eileen. It is worded a little off. It's a little Weird. different the way it reads. Um, but I think. Rather than trying to reinvent the wheel, I think we just probably keep it. Um, I mean, it makes sense. It, it is worded kind of strange, though. Um, you want to, all of accountability the way it is? I mean, it, it gets the point across, and it makes yeah. you know, sense. What about but... provision um, exercise? Leave it in or take it out? Out. Oh. Take oh. it out. Oh, the two. <laughs> take it out. 
Okay, Arlene. Interrupt. You were, were you talking about which one? You talking about supervision exercise? Yes. Yeah. Out. Seven. Yep, you can take it out. I'm okay with that. I agree with, with oh, them on that. In or out? I'd say in. Okay. Arlene? Kevin? Um, I don't know. If you leave it in, I think the wording is just, um, let me see. I think we can leave it. I yeah, just read it again. I think we can leave it. Okay. Because it it gives us more power. So, yeah, leave it in. <laughs> okay. All right. Is the rest of it okay, or what do you guys want to do about the rest of it? Good, bad? Under, I have a question under judgment about transactions. Judgment. Uh, the work requires the parent. Evaluating facts and parents surrounding the group. Because the word transactions to me means there's some kind of money being received or something. It's just a weird word to have in the middle of that. Situations or transactions. The work requires. I mean, instead of transactions, you could have occurrences or something like that. I would just take that one, one word out. I, just I, leave I it can't. to situations, situations determining. Yep. I, I just can't think of any situation in where there would be a transaction. The nurse would, to, to me, like I said, that involves some kind of money exchange, and I can't see a no, you can, nurse. You can have verbal transactions. They can have a verbal transaction. But what's uh, a verbal transaction? Is that a contract? Is that a... Oh, maybe um, advice given or their recommendation. That's not a transaction. Uh, sure that's it is. A transaction. Sure it is. Well, not in any, any place I've ever been or worked. You would not call giving somebody medical advice a transaction. And maybe it's the wording. But you would never use the word transaction. A verbal transaction? You've never heard of that. Nope. Not in <laughs> not in medical not in medical, no. Okay. I've heard of people Yeah, no. Uh, to me, like I said, transaction is there's an exchange of some sort. So if I have a fight, is that a verbal transaction? Either Yeah, but it could also they... just be an in interaction between people. Um, you know. I yeah. I think we should leave it. But, leave it alone. Yeah, that or just make it occurrences, change it to occurrences, then, you know, instead of transactions. Right. Yeah. Situations or occurrences. I mean, I just looked up the definition, and yeah, it says an exchange or interaction between people is also one of the options listed, you know. Intellect, for an example, intellectual transactions in the classroom. You know, it, it doesn't necessarily have to mean that, uh, you know, money was exchanged or anything. Oh, it doesn't have well, to be like a business transaction or something. Right. So I think probably verbally we should just leave that in there and leave it alone. That's all. Either way. Okay, anything else? I'm looking. Oops. See. Um, knowledge, abilities, and skills. Yep. Person really have to know social media, uh, Microsoft, Word, and Excel. Wouldn't hurt. You never know down the line. And what is a virtual collaboration environment? <laughs> virtual collaboration <laughs> environments. I would say that's because like if the person what if, if the person asks us, we need to have some kind of a an understanding of what that is. I would say that could be Maven information because that's all virtual. Maven is listed someplace else. Maven's on the first page. 
they called it information system, yeah. Um, Go to interpret. Yeah, the ability to maybe use Zoom or what we're doing right now. Because I'm hoping this whole thing goes away, but you never know. <laughs> and then the knowledge of my. Word and Excel. I think most people have knowledge, of media. anyways. Not everybody. Um, social media. We wouldn't be having somebody to take care of our social media, right? Not that we have a lot of social media. No, not that we have a lot of it. No. But would you expect this person who's working limited hours? You're not going to want a professional doing your social media when their skills could be used someplace else. I just, I, just, I mean, it's, it's, it it's 2020. I think that we can leave it, you know? I mean, it's kind of, uh, uh, you know, it's kind of on par with the time, so. Yeah, I mean, most of the stuff we're never even going to encounter situations, you know? Um. So then why leave it in the job description is telling people they have to be, they have to have that skill. Is it something you're never going to ask them Actually, to do? Actually, you know, I'd take out Microsoft and Excel before friggin' I'd take out social in media. My, in my opinion, a job description right. is a basic overview. It's not etched in stone. It's not a contract. When you apply yeah. for a job, most people that apply for a job do not have every single qualification. No. But you apply, and you might the, get it. The other, you take the best. The other thing I was person with the most qualifications or the best qualifications. But yeah. I'm not on the board. That's just my two cents worth. The other thing I was going to say is it says knowledge of. Doesn't mean you have to be an expert at it. It just says knowledge of. So I, I think we can just kind of leave it alone. I think we're splitting hairs, trying to really digress. Are we done? Are we down to three pages? Hold on. One. One. Hold on. I got to scroll. Oh, I see. No, I can make the font smaller, though. It'll be three pages. Uh. <laughs> I'll change the spacing and everything and make it three pages or less. Okay. I, I, I did have a question on the. Um, it says contracted on the status is contracted three to five hours per week. And then on the salary, it says 10 hours per week. So what, what is it? Oh, it's, that's me. It's, um, it would be th based on the money we have now, it would be three to five hours per week contracted. They're not mm -hmm. going to be considered an employee. Right. Yeah. So do I they get the like, do they get like a, a minimum, like a two hour minimum or a four hour? Minimum? How does that work? I'm just curious. No, it would be, it, it's, I, I think it's going to be between three and five hours, depending on what the situation is and what's going mm -hmm. on. Um, a minimum of three, though, I would say. So they could come in and do yeah. three hours every week. You know, for any follow-ups for, like, tuberculosis and that type of stuff, because we can't do mm -hmm. that. Right. Would you take out the 10 hours a week? Because I know you were putting that I in. deleted that. Okay, yeah. because I know you wanted to ask for more money, and that was why you put that in. I don't think anybody's going to give anybody any more money. Um, no? I don't think so. Um, yeah, so three to five hours per week. It'd be good for somebody that's retired or something. Oh, that's what I figured. With this, you're gonna, for, for all the qualifications you're going to need, you're going to get somebody that's just retiring out of job, but yeah, really they just want some money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that. So. All right, so we're good. We're good with that, Teresa. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just, um, I'll minimize the fonts and, you know, take out some spaces to make it three pages. Um, I would like a vote for you guys on that, though.
Do you, I mean, are we going to review the, the new draft or just basically with the edits that we made and that's how we're going to leave it? I've already edited just as we were going. I made all the edits. Okay. Um, I saved the Did you want to send that? I Is that what Kevin's asking it? Sure, sure, sure. Hold on a minute. <laughs> I got to figure out how to use my thinking computer again. Hold on. Did, did you want to move forward with something else and you can send that and then we can come back yeah, you, to it? Yeah, you can move on to the uh, transfer station. Is that the next item? Yes. Yep. yep. Okay. Uh, next on the agenda, the transfer station. Um, what was the, um, what was the question? Yes. The question is looking at the cost, where we are, and what we're going to need to do moving forward, because we definitely don't have the money to continue doing what we're doing now as the costs go up. So we're yeah. really going to need to look at where we are and what we can do, what we well, have control of. I mean, there's stuff that we don't have control of. Yeah, I, I watched the finance committee the other night, and it didn't didn't sound very promising. No, I didn't. I didn't listen to them, but I already know that between the costs of everything going up, there's something has to give. So yeah, they're concerned about it. Also, they're concerned about the transfer station. Yep. Um, I think at one point I heard Kevin say, we're just going to need to give them enough money for six months because there's so many other things going on right now and then look at it then. Okay. Can I come in here now? <clears throat> oh, right ahead. Yeah. What we're doing is extending the, trying to extend the contract for six months. Uh, we're uh, drawing in uh, a talk. They've been so tied up with everything else. I haven't really had a chance to look at the financial part of everything, looking over the contract, our costs, and seeing what other things we can do to eliminate a few things. So we'll meet uh, probably the next month or so, uh, John, myself, Todd, and Teresa, and go over all the costs, all the bids we got in, the cost of material as far as uh, compactors, transportation, and disposal. So it'll be another month or so before we actually get things, you know, nailed down to what costs we have and what we can change and how we can improve the transfer station to, you know, cut the cost down. Like I say, it'd probably be probably another month or so before we can all get together. Did okay. we ever apply for that con, um, compactor? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. That might That's help. The things we're going to review, you know, what money we have and, uh, you know, the grant and everything. So, uh, like I say, it'd probably be a month, you know, four to six weeks. Oh, did you oh. send that? I didn't. I didn't even look to see if you sent that, Teresa. At what? <clears throat> the uh, revised job description. Yes, I did send it. There it is. There it is. The spacing has to be changed, but all the wording has been changed. Okay. Huh? Maybe we got it to four instead of five. At least we got it down to four pages. Well, I have to still mess with the, the spacing, but the, all the verbiage oh, okay. is the, yeah. It's the same. All right. The beginning. Yeah, I won't change any Was of the other wording. Just change the spacing and the font size and everything. Yes. Yeah. Are we going to need a magnifying glass to read it? Oh, no. No, no. <laughs> no, I think right now it's at 11 oh. and a half. I can bring it down to 10 and you'd still be able to, I mean, you can make it bigger on a computer. Right, right, right. Yeah, it looks good. So, Dennis, 
I don't know if there's any other things we can do with the transfer station at this point. I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, it's going to be like you know, six weeks, and you know we'll have some you know uh, good figures put together as far as cost and uh, everything that you know surrounds the transfer station. So, so we'll like just said, oh, just that. Now and, um, we'll table it for now and revisit it when we have figures to to ponder. Yeah, we'll hear from the I grant and uh, that we have. So, okay. okay. Yeah, that sounds good. Yes, My Eileen. question is, would would they have the information by our next meeting, which is the 11th of August? Would That's they? About six weeks. Yeah. Yeah, I would say, That's I would say, you know, as far as, you know, as far as, you know, Todd, myself, John, and Teresa, all get together, you know, a, you know, we could come up with a spreadsheet of some sort, you know, whoever Todd wants to do it, breaking it down as far as pricing and cost and everything, and hopefully taking into consideration the grant and Using some money that we do have to cut costs, though. Yeah. So we'll revisit it after we get the uh, information from Gil and from Todd. Uh, can we move on to the septic plans then? Can we go back to the nurse and do get rid of that? The vote on that. We just want to take a vote to accept the new description as amended. Yeah. yeah I'll, I'll, you want to make that motion, Ali? Yeah, I um, will make a motion that we accept the new job description and public health nurse job description as amended. I'll second that motion. This is Kevin. And we'll take a vote, Ali. Yes. Kevin? Yes. And I'm a yes also. Okay. Thank you. Oh. Okay. Washington Street. Yep. Okay. Do we have any questions? Is there any issues that we should be aware of? Or? Oh. Um. Uh, I'm just looking at the review to see what he had to say. Yep. Everything was addressed. So. Yep. And it says two variances, right? Yes. Yeah. The first one is less than, tw it looks like 12 feet separation to invert. I can't, it's, his handwriting small. And the second is the civ analysis. Yeah. Um, is pull out um, less than 12 feet between groundwater table and the inlet invert to the pump chamber. Yep. And there's no deed restriction, right? Less than 12 feet. Oh. I'm looking at the I'm looking at the review, so I have to bring up the plan. No. Yeah. Okay. that one. Is the uh, is the plan in here? I'm having a hard time finding it. I found the review, but yeah, did you? It's all in there. The, if you if you did the zip, everything downloads, and then they're all together. It's like it's the review, and then the plan, the review, and then the plan. I just downloaded it as a zip file, and they're all together. Oh, okay.
got it, Kevin? Yeah, I got it. And then I was reading, um, I was looking at the review. So it looked like there was a second review and then they, no further comments. Everything had been revised as of 5 13 20. Does that sound right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And did they have on here? They're less than 12 inches. So, that, I mean, are they going to um, seal the tanks? Just have yeah. boots on where they're in and out of? It says right, um, if you look where the variances are, it says at the um, very end of the second variance that it would be waterproof. You really got to look for it, though. Mm -hmm. You have to really blow it up? Well, it's kind of a strange looking plan. Uh, at least this one I can blow it up. Two variances. Chihuahua used a seven hour set. And Chihuahua less than 12 feet between the ground water table and then went to the pot chamber. Yeah, it does say on the second one. May uh, make inlets and outlets waterproof. Yep. It doesn't say it in the review, but it says it on the plan. It's a weird looking plan, yeah. Okay. And I don't see anything about a deed restriction. No, that wouldn't be deed restricted. Nope. <clears throat> So do you need a motion? Yep. I'll, I'll entertain a motion to accept to accept the plans for 122 East Washington. I will make that motion. I'll second that. It's Kevin. And we'll take a vote, Arlene. Yes. Kevin. Yes. And I'm a yes also. We'll go on to the. There's a pan in the neck. Wagon trail. Wagon trail. Wagon. One seventy one wagon trail. So I have to assume, Teresa, that everything that he asked for in the review was added? Yes. Do we have any questions on it? No, they're just looking for a one foot, one foot groundwater separation. Is that all there is on this one? Yep. That's all I see. They yeah, they're going from five to four. Teresa said something. They do have the deed restriction notation on the plan. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll entertain a motion to accept 171 wagon trail. Yep, I'll, I'll make the motion to approve the plan for 171 wagon trail. A second. And we'll take a vote, Kevin. Yes. Aline. Yes. And I'm a no yes also. Move on. Oh. Whitman. And Ten eighty four Whitman Street. See if we can find that. Oh, there we go. The bedroom. No more separation. Yep, seven analysis and one, I can't, one something whole, I can't read his handwriting. Number three. One, one deep hole? That That's what it looks like. Okay. 
and they look at the plan. I think someone was on here from Outback earlier. I don't know if they're still here, but. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, this is Tom from Outback Engineering. Hey, Tom, how you doing? You want to just run us through this plan real quick? Sure, yeah. Um, you already mentioned the, the three local upgrades we were asking for were separation and groundwater from four to three, um, a sieve and reduction of the number of test pits um, from two to one. And the only reason we did one there was because they seem to have quite a bit of existing structures out there. Um, something we ran into looked like a tank, <clears throat> excuse me. And then we found a separate pit for laundry and all kinds of stuff out there. So we just, we found one spot. So you really could only use, there was one usable hole is what you're saying. So you just want right. to use one. Yep. Right. Is there a deed restriction notation on the plan? Uh, yes, the, at the top right um, in the design calc. I am not. Where am I? Why am I not seeing it? Am I blind? Um, it's under. It's under number one under design calculations. Um, in parentheses, it says three bedroom. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yes. Okay. Prepared. Three bedroom. Yeah, three ounce per bedroom per day. All right. So it's just a gravity fed system. What do you got? One, two, three, five, six. What do you got? Fifty-four chambers of this is? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What did what did you end up with a rate on that? What did it come out to? Uh, what we had to do is we had to do a sieve and it came out to 73 percent sand um right. which is not great the soil was um pretty silty I don't see any problems with it. Do you guys have any comments? No. No, I'm all set. I'll let the no, I'll let Yeah, they got, the, they got their membrane on there and everything, so I don't see an issue. I'll make a motion to approve the plan for 1084 Whitman Street. I'll second that. We'll take a vote. Uh, Kevin? Yes. Eileen? Yes. And I'll agree also. <coughs> and we have the last one for Main Street, is it? Yeah, 339 Main. Yeah. Yep. Hold on a minute. Yep. They have to notify the abutter. Hold on. They haven't done. Okay. Who's the engineer on this? Stemback and Taylor. Yeah, I just noticed it. It's just yep. to, it's to property line. It's less than um, 10 feet, so they need to notify the abutter. Yeah, what are they looking for? Five, five and six feet? Is that what this is? Yeah, from the side yeah. and rear. So yeah. they, they can't do this one yet. So let's go to the next meeting? Yeah, it'll have to wait till the next meeting. I didn't notice that. I should have noticed it, and I didn't. So that's partially my fault. But doesn't the engineer know that they have to notify the abutters? Yes, they should. 
they, okay. I don't even think Those they're I don't even think they're listed in here, is it? Oh yeah. No, they yeah, have. They have to says do the a letter. Home, I don't yeah. know if I notified them. Yeah. I may have. I I don't remember. Yeah, um, they're looking yeah. for setbacks on the on the foundation, and they're looking for property line setbacks. Yeah. So property so, line, they have to notify you about. So. But they should know that. Yeah. So. Thirty nine. Okay. So that was it. So we have to table that. Yes, I had tabled it until um, the abutters are notified till the next meeting. Okay. Did this go? Did this go out to review already? Yep. We got the review form. Good. Yep. The review. And it also says review that the, it has to be surveyed, which I don't know if they did that. Right. I don't. I was just going to say it says survey required five feet from property line. Need variance request, but contract, yeah. So it went out to review, and this would have gone back to the engineer, right? Yeah. So the plans that we have, are they the original plans, or are they, no, no, are those, they after the review? The revised plan. That was the revised? Okay. Yep. I'll have to call them tomorrow. All right. Uh, any old or unfinished business? Hold on. Wait a minute. I heard her saying hold on, but I'm not sure. Hold on. <laughs> No, any older unfinished business? I think that's it, right? Yeah, that's it. Do you have anything on your? Uh, Gil, Gil, do you want to uh, keep us up on anything? Bring us up on anything? Well, you know, we get over here. You know, we uh, phase three is started. There's a lot of questions on it. Uh, you know, pretty much uh, everybody's in tune to what's going on as far as the business is enhancing the restaurants, the furniture all compliance. Uh, We've, uh, we've welcomed Heidi's Hollow as a new business in town. It was purchased by a couple of young ladies from Pembroke. Uh, we've got them up and running. They're doing really good. Uh, we're working on you know, re reopening Town Hall. Hopefully next week, uh, beginning part of next week, we'll have a be all set to open it up to the public. Uh, no, excuse me. Stop there. Uh, open to the public as far as appointment only. And for each department, you call the department, make an appointment. The plan isn't in writing as of yet. John's working on it. He should finish it tonight. He's going to present it to a selectman, and they'll probably accept it tonight, and we'll have a written part of it uh, tomorrow sometime. So that's taking place. Uh, Shaw septic system still in design. Haven't got the final design on that. Uh, the VCA building, uh, the septic system is installed in there. So they're, they're getting going you know, rather rapidly on the building. Hopefully that's going to be completed. We'll have a new facility there. Uh, Depot Village, Phillips Street, uh, still working on that. They have past papers, so we haven't got the deeds uh, for the credit land in hand yet. And Liberty Woods, they're waiting for the final uh, zoning here, so it uh, looks like that's going to move forward. So, you know, we're still uh, moving rather rapidly in town hall, conducting business, and, uh, you know, we haven't slowed down that much. Uh, a lot of things happening, so um, that's about it. You know, uh, they did uh, mention today on a call there, I don't know if you heard that, that overnight camping will not be done until summer of No, I heard that, yeah. So, yeah. So, you know, pretty much a lot of things, so. But uh, there's a lot of uh, guidance on the phase three that hasn't come out yet. They're going to revise a little bit, so it should be interesting in the next day or so. But that's about it. Very good. I have a question. I have a question, Dennis. Go ahead. Did, did Shaw's notify you that on, I think it was Saturday morning, they lost power in their complete back refrigeration system where all the meat is kept? Yeah, they have means. I didn't get over there. They have means of moving the meat into a storage uh, refrigeration unit there. But they, did they notify us that that happened? No, they didn't the notify us. They, oh. they never do. So, um, and then I guess I make it over there. The manager about that. 
But I do know they, they, they did it in the past. They have a refrigeration unit that they moved things to. Right. But they, they didn't lose total so refrigeration. Again, they was just, do you hear me? Um, they didn't lose no. total refrigeration. It was just one unit. Is it me or is he going in and out? I don't know. Something's happening here. So they're just saying. I repeat myself here. They didn't know. lose refrigeration. It was just that one section. So they're able to move yep. things without losing temperature. Okay. Because I know in the past they've never been good about notifying us. So right. how do we know if they get rid of any product that, you know, if you don't know if it's been out there, they're, they're just not good about that. That was my only question. Yeah. Oh. That's it for me. Thank you. Um, any other questions or comments? No. Well, we um, town meeting. Do we do we know anything about Should what I, they're planning on doing outside? I don't know. I, I listened to the meetings? selectmen meeting and I couldn't make heads or tails of it. The last I heard, they were going to have it at the high school. I think it's in the parking lot because Whitman's having their town meeting on the um, 27th and 28th. So Hanson would go yep. on the 29th and 30th and the high school graduation is on the 31st so that they only have to set up once. That was the last but is I that in, is I thought that was going to be the field. No, not in the field. Well, they can't do it on the field because that voids the warranty on the field. Oh, on the football field. Okay. That's what I had heard. Brian Tully jumping in right. here. The, the plan is on the yeah. grass field next to the football field. Oh, okay. in front of the field, the baseball field, soccer field. Who's moving paper? Did the person moving paper mute themselves? We it's going to Ryan be Kelly. on the directly across the football field. Yeah, so the front field, That's right? Kind of up the hill towards the high school. Oh. Oh, okay. I know. Yeah, where they play. Right. Um, like when they play, where they play flag football sometimes. There's, um, I believe, a JV baseball field up there. Yeah. So there you go. Wonderful. Going to be interesting. <laughs> yeah, it is. Going to be interesting. Bring your mosquito spray and hope people talk fast. All right. So I, I didn't have any more started. comments, Dennis. I, I'm all set. Anyone else? Anything else? Nope. Okay. Well, I'd like to thank Eileen for uh, all your time you spent as chairman. And I'm sure you'll continue to do a wonderful job on the board. Um, with that, I'll entertain a motion. With that, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Uh, second. Evan? Yes. Aline? He made the motion and I seconded it. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. You're doing roll call. Never mind. Yeah. You want to vote? Yeah. And I'll vote yes also. Thank you very much. Five o'clock. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, everybody. Have a good afternoon. Have a good, All right. have a good night. Thank you. Thank you.